Good morning. Good morning. You can So, me is saying good morning. So, we're going to do cancer. We're going to do How long is that November. November. Okay. Doing them off and on all day. Cancer, cancer. November. Little short ones. So, this is going to be actually the first two weeks of November. From, well, from here on. Next couple weeks, okay? So, cancer, cancer. My little cancer. My little cancer. We have the High Priestess and the Four of Swords. Let me just me turn this down, maybe see a little better. No, turn it up. Okay. I'm gonna pull a couple more. These cards um, speak to me differently. He got the lovers. Let me grab one more. There's something going on that's. I'm not even gonna say healing. There, there's a meant to be scenario with someone. You might not be talking to that person. You got the Queen of Coin. You got the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It is, it's like you got the inner knowing about something. Um, you could have strong Pisces place, placement, Gemini, Taurus, but... Um, this is the inner knowing. I feel like this is with the four of swords here. You're, it's like you're actually closing yourself off. It's not even healing. Or you're just like, not now. I forget the name I was going to say, like, not now. I don't know, not now, Peter, something like that, like, and not Peter as in, like, who we used to reference, that you used to know, I don't know what song that is, look at this lover's card, already together, it's a union, and my queen, you either coming in as... Well, you're coming in as very spiritual too, but you're actually coming in as Taurus. <clears throat> you're just taking off. Okay. Um, this is very ironic energy for you. Ironic. That's a good word, Mom. Thanks, babe. very superstitious you're not even looking at the lovers tell me about the high priestess this is an inner knowing to me it's, it's not a secret it's an inner knowing <clears throat> It's spiritual. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> You're going to get some type of message, insight, spiritual journey. You're definitely on a spiritual journey. You're definitely in the midst of getting out of a lesson, too. Possibly with a lover. <clears throat> or it's just speaking of Gemini. But to 
and they've got the four swords. Got the page of coin and the strength card. <clears throat> It's having the the strength to move forward and have a new start. Um, and it looks like it might possibly be with a lover. You could possibly deal with a, a Libra, Gemini, or a Taurus. Um, but this is the strength. Strength's looking right at the eight of wands. Strength to go on this spiritual journey. Strength to put time into something. Could be financial or it's just time in general. <clears throat> Tell me about the lovers. I did see the hermit, so I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. Or you're coming in as Virgo energy. But this is a spiritual journey, and it's going to require strength. I, you're, to me, with that four of swords, it's, there's, there was some type of healing, but <clears throat> you just don't know. And then you got judgment, okay? So, yeah, this is forgiveness, second chances. Um, it's either you going through a judgment or a lover. It's like facing your own karma. Someone needs to put the weight down. So I don't know if that's you or in reference to the lover. Because <clears throat> that's the first time where I was like, it can actually be both of you. Well, it's one or the other. Tell me about the Queen of Coin. But there's going to be a new judgment call. You can't avoid judgment. It's And it's spiritual judgment, too. Will you take a new start? Will you nurture? You know, because you are going in this direction, but you're not looking. And you got the Ace of Cups. So there's love. There's a new opportunity. It's going to be up to you on whether or not you want to pursue something. What a gorgeous card. What a gorgeous card. You love someone. Tell me about the Six of Swords. It's up to you on whether or not you want to <clears throat> resurrect something. Regardless, as of the next two weeks, you are on a spiritual journey. Um, you got the Seven of Cups and Ten of Swords. You feel stabbed in the back by something. You don't know if it's illusionary. You don't know what to think. So you're leaving a situation. Um, to me, I feel like you're most definitely going to get... I mean, it does speak about a spiritual journey. But to me... It's like you know you're going to get a message or you're going to get a message is either from a Leo or it's you having to have strength. Um, right now I think it's pretty silent between you and someone but it's like there's, there's a chance for forgiveness. Somebody wants forgiveness, vice versa. It looks like there's a new start with possible work and possible love. Um, and, and it's, I don't know if this is, I just heard um, wiping the slate clean. With the Ten of Swords and reviewing the options. Because you're actually in the boat going with someone. I mean, it could be your family, it could be a lover. But to me, it's like you're getting out of that. So it's a really good thing. You're moving past that. So for those who were in. And at the bottom of the deck is the 401. So for those who are in a little bit of uh, funky energy, you're definitely going towards something solid with the 401s. Okay. So looks good. You are still in delicate energy. Because the devil was lurking when strength pops out and it's on top of the four of swords, okay? So it's basically up to you on what you want to pursue. If you want to erase the chalkboard and start new. You, you always should have a blank slate. 
right? We've talked about that before. So you, it, it's you're going, regardless of what you choose here, you're getting yourself out of like a dilemma, some type of dilemma, I guess. Okay, is what I just heard. So that's a good thing. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Oh, and if you guys want a reading, the um, the links are below. Okay, go to under the description box, and there's links for readings, and really look further into your story if if that's what you're looking for. Okay, that's weird. I don't ever do that. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.